So this was a project for engines 147, Mechatronics. Mechatronics being the fusion between mechanical and electrical engineering. A lot of sensors, a lot of control theory. We were set up both here in the machine shop and in the advanced project lab. We did most of our mechanical engineering here and most of our software and electrical engineering over there. I was working with a group of four people, so we all focused on different things. The thing that I worked on the most was probably the sensor suite, the, specifically the anemometer and the weather vane up at the top. So this is the Dynamic C, named after the programming language we used, and because enough of our group likes puns that we decided to keep the name. It's a autonomous trimaran vessel. Started life as a catamaran, but we discovered we need a little more buoyancy than we expected. These are the hulls. You can actually, they were cut out, as I said, on a milling machine. You can see the ridges here where the mill would pass and do individual layers. We covered the whole thing in carbon fiber, stuck it in a vacuum bag to seal the carbon fiber to the deck and impregnate it with a whole bunch of epoxy. And that's this stuff you see here. Steering system was on the back. This is the rudder servo. You see here, it's linked by these two arms to the rudders. Rudders are OBJ rapid prototyping plastic. GPS tells us where we are. This is wind direction, hooked up to that encoder there, and this is wind speed. Mainsail, of course, is not cloth. This is actually a very thin plastic film, mostly used for model airplane wings, just because it's very light. But within here, there's a whole set of I mean, laser-cut wooden beams. Autonomous movement, it's actually the core of the boat. Making the boat float is the easy part. The hard part is knowing where you are, knowing where you want to go, and then sometimes it's the easiest part to figure out how to get from point A to point B.